ladies and gentlemen. Of course, my name is Amaje So Alfred, and I'm seeing the Swag King, the boss for bosses, and I happen to be among the most innocent guys on the face of planet Earth, like the Caesar. I came, I saw, and of course, I conquered because the street refused to go to church. I've made up my mind that I was definitely going to take the church to the street now, holy, that we may wear Christ with a whole lot of swag. Today, I have an amazing personality right here with me at the studio. Guess what the topic is? We're going to be talking about suicide, like suicide. A lot of persons have been taking their lives on the face of planet Earth. Now, first of all, they are not the custodian of their life, their self. Now, somebody gave it to them. And, of course, they need permission to take the life out from their self. And they decide to take it out, maybe due to challenges, due to family issues, depression, and everything. But is that really the best? Is that really the best? All right, but before we introduce the topic, and, of course, before I introduce my guests, we'd like to go a very short break, go nowhere, because I'll be right back after the break. Thank you. You came, you gave the very best you gave. You had a choice to walk away, you chose to stay for me. You've walked so hard, so selfless you have been. You did it all because you love the Lord. For every sacrifice you made, no, it's not in vain. I know it's not in vain. The future is sure for you. It's higher and higher. The hand of the Lord rest upon you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm good. All right. Uh, so first of all, we're looking at we're looking at suicide. First of all, let's know. What is the cause of suicide? Well, like I said, suicide is one at one taking his own life or okay. her own life. And there are curses uh, ranging from one, spiritual. Okay. People do not know that, but most people that commit suicide is because they are under spiritual influence. Okay. Some people do not even know why they take their life, but some of them hear voices. Some of them see forces you know, coming on them and telling them, go take your life. They are not depressed. They have not been depressed. They don't have a history of depression or emotionalism or whatever kind of trouble that may lead someone to go into committing suicide. But somehow they are under this influence, this spiritual influence, and they just go commit their life, take their life. Another cause of suicide is um, uh, depression. Many people are depressed. Maybe because things are not working for them academically, financially, maritally, so they say, let me just take my life. And so they do it probably to go rest. Some of them tell you, I want to go and rest. I've had to talk to some people who came for counseling, who wanted to commit suicide. And they also spoke one one young boy who come, who came to me, spoke to me, but still committed suicide the next day. Hmm. Yeah, so there are people who feel I can't make it anymore. So let me just take my life and that's it. So you have spiritual courses, psychological courses, uh, emotional. Some people are just emotionally, you know, um, knocked off okay. and they say, let me take my life. Okay. But, but yeah. the, the society has a role to play in the lives of those people that decide to commit suicide. Let's take for instance now, if a family member, like you say, someone came to you and told you about his or our own challenge and definitely the guy took his life the next day, despite the fact that you advise him or you talk to him. Okay, but the, the society has a role to play in the life of this one because most times some of them complain, okay, we have nobody to talk to, nobody to give us listening ears, but do they really have a role to play? Yes, of course. Society have a role to play. Okay. And you and I at society yeah. will have a role to play. Like the guy who spoke to me, he actually came to ask for forgiveness. He told me he has been hitting me hard, fighting me and all that. Okay. So he came to ask for forgiveness. Okay. And I forgave him and prayed for him. But I didn't know he was about to take his life. The next day he went and hung himself. Okay. You know? And um the society must play a role. Oh. We must identify with people that um, are going through problems 
if they voice it out, we stand with them in prayer. We also advise them. We do whatever we can to save them. Okay. So the society have a role to play. Okay. Uh, now talking about the society being has a role to play in the life of individuals, um, or those that commit suicide or want to commit suicide, what should be the easiest way for them to come out from their challenges? Just as long as a guy out there that want to commit suicide, feel that the world is is um is um is so much for him to carry and he just decide that the only way out is for me to take my life all right let me put this question right is that the holy solution to the problem no I, I wrote a few things let me just mention what i wrote here so that those watching can maybe take it down and help themselves okay. and maybe use to help someone else yes, so i will just mention the points right. um why do people commit suicide like we said spiritually uh, affected persons okay. emotionally uh, psychologically affected persons okay. there are some that have long-lasting problem this okay. problem has just been there for many years and say I can't make it I can't come out of it I can't overcome it okay. so let me just take my life there are some who uh, experience constant disappointment constantly get disappointed whatever they do it fails okay. so they feel let me just take my life some is because of frustration yeah. and frustration comes when you try to do something over and over and over you're not getting the results so what am i living for i'm tired maybe this world is not for me i should have been a fish or a monkey a baboo i don't know why i'm a human being let me just go then there are people who um who who feel they have something they have done something they can't stand the shame mm. they can't stand the shame i committed abortion and uh, my womb probably is taken off and i'm here I'm, I'm married and my husband will soon discover no no let me take my life mm. there are some that wouldn't want their parents to know that they are into drugs or they're into some kind of court or something so when the truth is about to be revealed they say i don't want to put my family to shame let me just take my life mm. so there are people that cannot handle shame okay you know so they just feel let them take their life and then uh, there are people that uh, have experienced constantly experienced this loneliness and a, a feeling of hopelessness mm. so let me just take my life now uh, the solution I, I i want us to know that everything that will go through on earth um can 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 be handled on whatever problem whatever challenge you have whatever trouble god can handle it for us mm. now if you look at the book of uh, genesis chapter 13 uh from verse 14 you see that abraham came to a point in his life when he felt all hope is lost yes. when lot left him abraham became so depressed and so despondent the bible said that god spoke to him yeah. abraham lift up your eyes from where you are lot is gone stop looking at lot lift up your eyes and see from where you are lift up your eyes look to the north south east and west for this land that you see i will give to you so when everything is gone when all hope is lost when you think you've lost everything lost academics lost marriage lost finance lost your business lost your peace lost your your name your integrity people are rubbishing you for what you know nothing about mm. and if you well i'm just I'm, I'm i'm done i'm finished no remember that you must lift up your eyes there is someone who made you lift up your eyes lot was gone mm. but god said to abraham lift up your eyes and see then i said still trust and believe in god despite what you've gone through still trust god still believe that god can make a way for me then as a number three believe in yourself still believe in yourself i know someone who almost committed suicide because she feel every man that came my way broke my heart 15 men in a row yeah. and she said maybe i'm not cut out for my let me just go and take my life today she's married to a millionaire she is married to a millionaire at the point she was about to take her life i was preaching abuja in a hotel and she just listened to me for a few minutes and then came for counseling 
and I pray with her and, and encourage her today. She is she has more than 10 cars to herself. She is blessed. So still believe in yourself that you can make it, that you can you can break through. Then believe in people. People have failed you. Still believe there are still people God will bring your way that will help you fulfill your life dream. So still believe, maybe just one person, maybe one man, maybe one woman that God will send to you to you. So don't give a blanket running out of human beings helping you out in life. Okay. Still maybe there's one angel somewhere, someday that will come to help you. So still believe in people. Then I said, put your past behind you. Put this your past. This your ugly past. This your painful, frustrating past. Put it behind. Remember, there is a future ahead of you. There is something out there. Then I said, study the life of others. There are people who have suffered what you are suffering. There are people who have gone through what you are going through. There are people... Time will fail me to talk about people that attempted suicide, but today they are global champions. And don't forget that look that champions are ex losers. So to lose or to fail is not a crime. Mm -hmm. But when you fall, still have the mind to rise. So you can't be a champion if you've never lost a battle or lost a fight. So you just keep pushing. If you've lost relationships, keep moving. You meet one guy one day that will love you. You have failed exam. They say, "Oh, you should do." They want to waft you. They waft you. Maybe they waft you twice. Yeah. Still go to school. You can do online, you know, schooling. Awesome. You can do. You can go to open university. You can just just hope that you will still make it. Yeah. So do not throw in the towel. As long as there is life, there is hope. Don't ever attempt to commit suicide. Don't ever attempt to take your life. Mm -hmm. You didn't give yourself this life. God gave it to you. If God feel you are done with your assignment, on He will take it. Yeah. But as long as he still allow you to breathe, he will help. There is a man who has been insane or who was insane for 10 years. He got well last month. Wow. After, he, 10, years. after 10 years of being insane, God healed him. And today, he's walking just last month. Hmm. So, no matter the hopelessness around you right now, someday, sometime, God will make a way for you. Hmm. So, you have no reason to take your life. A lady got healed of HIV AIDS. She was raped and lost her virginity mm -hmm. at the age of 18. Raped by a gang of 10 young men. And she discovered she was HIV positive. Mm -hmm. That lady said, I must take my life. What am I living for? For, for, for rapists to take my virginity and give me HIV? I'm done. I'm done with life. God hate me. God is too wicked. <laughs> I have to go. Mm -hmm. And she lived with that thought and that mindset mm. but miraculously mm. this lady came for counseling she is good at uniport wow. she came for counseling and we talked and we prayed she left i was not expecting go to heal her of her hiv aids i just wanted to encourage mm. her mm. to let her know that god is still faithful but after two months she came back to me and told me that she had a dream and in her dream, she saw a personality, a man who came to her and kind of like a medical doctor, you know, treated her, gave her some water to drink and told her to go and wee. She went and weed and took care of herself. She came back, the man told her that you do not have HIV again. Go mm -hmm. and run a test. She couldn't believe it. She went and ran tests. The HIV was gone from her blood. So no matter the hopelessness you think surround you right now, there is God. He will make a way for you. Mm. So don't take your life before the help come. The help will surely come. All right, so don't take your life before the help come. The help will surely, surely come. Now let's look at, uh, is there any disadvantage? What are the disadvantages of taking is, um, taking your life? What are the disadvantages of society? The disadvantages are many. Okay, let's just look at one. Okay. You disappoint people that look up to you. Okay. You disappoint your own parents and friends. Number three, you put a stop to God's plan and intention for your life. Oh, wow. You are bought God's dream and God's plan. Number four, what did God say about suicide? You go to hell. 
Christians believe in hell. Muslims believe in hell. Mm. You go to hell. You go to it, you go and suffer eternally. Mm -hmm. Because of temporal problem, you go and suffer eternally. Wow. In huh. hell. Okay, now, sir, before you leave the platform, um, what would you have to tell those people that knows that people, not, not, because normally, you, let's look at it from this other side, that uh, the major cause sometimes is people don't believe in people because they believe if I should open up to you, you will definitely disappoint me. Now, there are some, there are some set of persons on the face of the side that when you tell them your innermost secrets and the next day you seem to hear the same thing as someone else and someone else and that's how the, the story spread. And because of that, a lot of these guys decide to keep their word, to their self, keep their problem. And to the other which you just tackle, you say they must believe in people no matter what they must believe in people. Then let's look at this other side of those people that go around spreading the rumor. What mm -hmm. do you have to tell them that okay, this are the set of persons where when people come to them with their innermost secrets, they just decide to spread it. That is what they are known for. You see, we must God made us to be interdependent on ourselves. Okay. That's why no man know it all and no man can do it all mm. we it is you rob me and i rob oh, you yeah. you teach me i learn from you and i teach you that is how life is so if someone come to you to confine on you tell you his problem yeah. you should appreciate that the person trusts you enough to tell you his problem mm. and keep it to yourself i used to tell our uh, people that see every pastor is a pit mm. a pit receives all kinds of debris but does not want vomit does not throw it up yeah. so people come to you and tell you about their life secrets hmm. you are not matured to be a counselor if you can't keep secrets wow okay you uh, can't okay now in this my heart is full of secrets hmm. now as a priest as a man of god as a bishop i am under the law of god to keep the secret of people that come to me to tell me their problem that's why i'm there oh. and my brother if you are in a position where people can tell you their problems tell you their issues keep it for them even when you have misgivings and misunderstandings you should never betray that trust oh. so if you have if somebody have sold you out you told somebody your problems and the person began to talk about it and you're so ashamed of you they can't handle it yeah. leave it up god knows what to do you will still make it still stand don't give up yeah. and don't say oh, who else can i trust i trusted my pastor he betrayed me i trusted my parents they betrayed me i trusted on my jesus and he betrayed me trust <laughs> god there is someone somewhere yeah. that will not betray you oh. Uh, I want to say thank you for coming by Bishop Tank. We do appreciate your presence right there with all the others too. But before you leave, uh, we, I, what word do you have to drop in the mind of the people, the mind of the lovely uh, people of this country that are actually watching you, uh, looking at you right now from the other side of the screen? So what do you have to tell them before you leave, sir? Life is a gift from God. Okay. Before you were conceived, God knew you. Mm. He has a plan for you. Mm -hmm. Do not forget. Yeah. The day your father dropped the spermatozoa well, on the in the womb of your mom, mm. you are the only one that survived. It was a race where millions of people have to run to fertilize the egg that make them human. You are the only one that survived that race. Mm -hmm. That's why you were born. So God actually created it for a purpose. Mm -hmm. If you are not needed here, you will not be created. Wow. If you are done with your assignment here, he would have called you. Mm -hmm. So you stay here. This is where God asks you to live on earth. He has a plan. Mm -hmm. Don't ever think of taking your life. And do not. In case the thought has been coming, just try yeah. to look up to God and tell him, whatever reason why you created me, please let it come to pass. Let me fulfill that purpose. And I can assure you, God will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. And of course, God will help you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the point we want to say thank you, Bishop, for coming. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. President. And let's join to then for the Gospel Entertainment News, and I'll be right back after that. Thank you.